Hey, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Jay the Dog King Hefner here, baby. Coming to you late night, you know what I'm saying? I had fell asleep earlier. Just tired, man, just tired, but this stuff just can't leave my mind. So I, I came back, you know. Uh, I wanted to give that everybody know they've been watching the videos. I did a video earlier talking about uh, preparations uh, that I'm doing for my sex dolls as well as... Uh, uh, viewer feedback, but I see everybody's been watching the second video part two if you've seen part two Please go back and check out part one because you missed a lot of uh, good stuff that I was talking about I don't like to tell y'all, you know what to choose and what to look at about my videos But I surely hate to see you guys looking at the second video uh, of a two-part uh, piece and it's my fault uh, my paranoid ass. I was looking at the video time and thinking that it was finna run out. So I said I better make this, you know, two parts. And either way, I fucked up. So if you seen part two of uh, the preparations uh, for sex doll and a viewer review, if you seen that video to part two, please go back and check out part one. Now, right now, we finna have a little science lesson because you know we always be liking to laugh and joke and, and have fun. But man, I'm gonna be honest with you. Ever since I've been researching this stuff. The big debate is TPE versus silicone. And we always yelling about TPE versus silicone, but half of us, we get to saying the word TPE so much, we don't even know what the hell it means. We just know it's different than silicone. And we just start describing it like that. So I didn't do anything super special. I just decided to, let's get this defined uh, for all of us to know I've, I've read the uh, definition before I'm sure you probably have too But just talking about it And just going through the motions every day I even sometimes forget What the hell is it So here it is We're going to start out with TPE We're going to talk about the pros and cons of both Now TPE I'm going to be reading this It stands for thermoplastic elastomer It's also known as Thermoplastic rubbers it is manufactured from a mix of polymers. In case of sex dolls, plastic and rubber. This combination of polymers results in a material that consists of thermoplastic, which is plastic, and elastomeric, which is rubber, properties. So, they consist of thermoplastic and elastomeric properties. I had to write this down because... I don't got a computer right now in front of me. So Now, TPE can be stretched up to 5.5 times in length. These properties contribute to its suppleness and softness. It's used to make everyday items that possess rubber-like features, but still utilizes the efficiency of current injection molding techniques. Now, since it can conform to irregular shapes when heated, this makes it more economical, meaning that it's cheaper, motherfuckers. It's cheaper to make because you can stretch it and move it and all that stuff more easily than silicone. Now, here are the pros for TPE. The pros are, since TPE responds great to injection molding, which I just said, the mass production is more efficient and maximized. This has led to a cost reduction and a cheaper doll and has allowed people like me and, and a lot of you out there to begin to achieve a dream of, okay, having a synthetic companion. Now, at a cheaper price. The TPE mix of thermoplastic and an elastomer has combined to create, now this is the second pro. It has combined to create an ideal texture. The material is soft and very lifelike. I don't know this for sure. I haven't tested. I, I got two TPE, TPE dolls coming. I'm one of the people who can't speak from first-hand experience. It's just me looking it up. They say, in some people's opinion, it's more realistic than silicone. I, I've seen arguments about this on the net. So, look, this ain't me saying it. This is just... The uh, research saying it. Number three, a pro of uh, TPE is the breast and the butt wobble naturally. And in terms of sex positions, this is a big, big plus. TPE is more elastic. 
Now, I've heard some people say with them super high-end real dolls, full silicone dolls, that they're pretty elastic. But I guess on a normal basis, TPE is more elastic and you can do more sexual positions. Now, the cons of TPE is it's a very porous material. Clothes may stain it, and that's bothering me and worrying me. It retains water, and it makes it prone to mold growth. The doll must be clean and dry thoroughly. I don't mind clean and dry, but I'm paranoid as hell. I'm a mistake-making klutz, and I'm worried that I clean this doll immaculately, and then I missed a, a micro-inch, and then now all of a sudden now I got mold. So I am bothered by that, especially with this doll I got to got the fix vagina. Number three, the last con is... The same material that makes it injectable makes it susceptible to heat. Meaning that, hey, don't have it nothing, near nothing warm and you cannot take no damn hot bath with no TP uh, either. I've heard that you can use warm water, but you can't take no hot bath. Now, let's move on to silicone. Like I said, I had to do this shit old fashioned to write this stuff down, man. But guess what? Sometimes you got to get it done how you get it done, man. Uh, we all in this together. Now, silicone. This is just by the re research, once again. It is not a mixture of thermoplastic and elastomer. It's a thermoset. Unlike TPE, its shape and qualities are fixed once it cures. It is heat resistant and rubber-like. Given these qualities, it is used in a wide range of things that maximizes its qualities, such as glues, lubricants, medicine, and cooking utensils. One of the great qualities of silicone is its ability to retain its shape under extreme pressure. Also, it's very heat resistant, giving it the ability to withstand being bored for sterilization. I definitely love that aspect of it. It is highly inert. What does inert mean? It means it doesn't undergo any significant physical, chemical, or biological transformations and unlikely to harm other matter it comes in contact with. I guess that's why you can use it for implants and whatnot. Now, go back to uh, resaying that sentence. Without interrupting, that sentence was basically saying it is highly inert and unlikely to harm other matter. I'm sorry, it is highly inert and since it doesn't react with most chemicals, it's deemed medically safe. That's a big pro. Now, here are all the pros though. Actually listed. One, is non-porous, making it resistant to clothes and stains so it's easy to clean. We discussed that. Number two, it doesn't retain humidity. And unlike TPE, this allows it to be sterilized using boiling water. Similar to sterilizing utensils and medical equipment. And I love that. I, I can't lie. That's the only thing I hate personally about TPE is I want to be able to sterilize some shit. You know, I want to be able to put some boiling water on this on this mess. You know, I, I do sort of hate the fact that TPE is more of a porous material. Because like I said, that's what I can afford right now. And I eventually want to get to uh, silicone, but we'll get back to that. Now, another pro of silicone, the third pro is, it is a thermoset, which means its initial curing phase is not dependent on cooling. It's a catalyst base, which means it's less heat sensitive. Basically, it means these dolls can be enjoyed in a hot bath. Now, you don't need to be getting no bath dirty as hell. You know, and you really need a bath with one of these dogs. I don't think that's what they mean. But, if, hey, guess what? If you clean or something, you got a little hot tub or something, you know, you already clean, then I say, hey, go on, get in there with the damn uh, dog. And, you know, hey, guess what? You can enjoy a little, a little glass of wine chilling in that hot bath with that dog. Now, that sounds good to me. I'm going to be honest. Now, cons. Once silicone is cured, it can't be altered, bro. So the margin of error is lower and the dogs become more expensive pushing them right out of some of our price ranges. Now, silicone is not as soft as TPE, according to this research, not me. It feels more dense and stiff to the touch. It is more rubber-like than lifelike. 
Now, given the lubricants it can be exposed to, uh, silicone is not the most durable polymer. Now, when they say durable, I guess that some of these lubricants can break it down. Now, I've been told not to use uh, uh, chemically based uh, lubricants on my TPE dog. They say just use water based, but on, on, on this report, it's saying that it can use water based or or, 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 or the other type, uh, whatever it is. But hey, look, I'll, I've always wanted to use water based anyway, so I ain't without the chemical based uh, lubricants. Now, another con of silicone is that it can be sticky to the touch and baby powder can help with this. That's what they say. Now, according to them, if you want a TPE dial, it's more perfect for a realistic touch. And a silicone dial, you would go with that if you want to have less upkeep associated with the dial. Now, before this video ends, uh, I just want to say, in my opinion, you know, I sort of agree with the author because he went on to say, like, at the end of the day, it may be good to have one of each. That way you can make your own assessment of which one is the best. Me, I definitely want a silicone doll at, at some point, man, you know, but you got to start somewhere. And like you say, uh, I sort of went in reverse. I got the beautiful, more expensive WM doll, then found the... Uh, more economically uh, sensible Kimber doll and ordered that one second. It's fine though. I'm glad I got two dolls coming. Uh, one, I mean, both of them I can learn with. And uh, my next doll, uh, when God blesses me uh, and hopefully blesses you guys to get your first doll or add on to your collection, uh, I want to get a silicone doll. Uh, uh, I seen this doll called a Silico doll, and man, I'm telling you, man, it had veins and everything in it. Uh, I definitely want to try that out and see what that experience is like, see how much easy it is to take care of it. Uh, but either way, I had to wake up and uh, remind y'all, man, once again, go back and look at the video, man. If, if you saw part two of um, me getting prepared for my dolls slash uh, viewer uh, feedback, if you saw part two of that, please go back and check out part one because it's like 19 to 20 of y'all that seen the second video. And only three of y'all seen the first part of that video. So, either way, man, it's sort of late. I had to get up. j Dog King helping the baby. We do this shit night and day, 24-7. You know what I'm saying, man? Hey, look, we on this dog life. You know what I'm saying? Get at me. Comment. I'm going to read them. Uh, oh, matter of fact, I seen a dude. Um, damn, what's his name? Um, uh, Damon something. It was Damon something. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I'm forgetting your name. I bad, But he left me a message about... Um, this AI uh, app, I think you can use with your dogs. I'm going to be honest. I ain't the biggest on the AI stuff. Myself, personally. And I ain't knocking nobody who is. But what I am going to do is research that. Like he told me to. Um, damn, I can't think of the name of it off bad either. It's called Rakita or something like that. But I'm going to research it. And I'm going to come back. We're going to talk about it. Other than that, man, get your lesson. You know, do your research. Enjoy your ladies. Uh, Jada Dog King, helping out.